So I stopped typing about three months ago and my productivity absolutely exploded. I'm now writing emails, scripts, notes, everything at like 300 words per minute using nothing but my voice. And the crazy thing is I'm actually writing better content because the AI takes my rambling thoughts and formats them better than I ever could. This is the power of Super Whisper and it's completely changed how I work. Welcome back to the Feel Productive channel. My name's Ez. Let's get into it. So Super Whisper is an AI powered dictation app for Mac and iPhone that converts your speech into perfectly formatted text. But what makes it different from every other voice to text tool out there are the intelligent modes that actually understand what you're trying to do. Okay, so let's talk about the features in Super Whisper that I've integrated into my workflow, starting with the different modes that you can see here. So I'm in the settings of Super Whisper and you can see that there are a bunch of default settings you get when you install it from voice to text, which is standard dictation to modes like email. So let me show you that. All you do is I'm in my email now. You simply hit the shortcut by default is option space on your keyboard. And then I can say, hey, John, I'm wondering about next week's workshop. Do we have the attendee list and have we prepared all of the materials we need in order to deliver it accurately? Let me know if there's anything you need to support. And if we need to change the dates, we can do that too. I'm also free on Thursday. I simply then press option space again, and you can see how quickly it's captured that and summarized it and perfectly put it into my email automatically. I haven't touched anything, it's pasted it in itself. And you can see it's really accurate and it's just saved a bunch of time. So all you do is hit option space and you can see here that actually by default when I'm in my notes, it will default to note mode. So I've configured it in the background. So whenever a certain app is open, it automatically will switch to the correct mode. And in this case, it's now recording my voice for this note and it's going to transcribe it accordingly based on the fact that it's a note. So let's see what it does. Hit option space again and it's gonna automatically then paste that in. And you can see it's basically figured out what I've said and it's put it into a bunch of bullet pointed summaries of uh, what I've said, which is quite cool. And again, you can configure this in the background to get whatever kind of output you like, but it's just really nice. And actually if I hit option space again, if I don't want note mode, I can simply just click and then just pick a different mode whilst it's recording, which is awesome. Okay, so you can also do some other cool stuff like custom mode. So if you go into the settings and create a mode, you can create a custom mode. You can see I've already created one called prompt and I put the prompt inside the custom instructions. It's quite a long one, but basically whenever I speak into it, it will then start creating a prompt from what I've said. And by default, I've actually changed the settings in here. So whenever I've got ChatGPT or Claude open, it will default to the prompt mode. So let's try it out. So I'm going to hit option space, create a prompt that will critique my LinkedIn profile and tell me just how cringe worthy it is on a scale of one to 10. I also want it to give me some tips on how to improve my LinkedIn profile to make it feel more professional. Okay. Now it's going to give quite a large output. So it might take a little bit of time. You can see here, it's now creating the prompt for me. And once it's finished creating the prompt, it will automatically paste it into chat GPT uh, for it to start doing its thing. So now instead of just typing what I want it to do, I can create this really quick professional prompt and get much better results as well off the back of it. By the way, links to the Super Whisper Mac and iOS app will be found in the description below. And if you're enjoying this video so far, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech and productivity content. I know you want to. So one of my favorite modes is Super Mode, which is basically a mode that takes into account whichever active app you have open and any text or images or links that you've copied to your clipboard. So let me show you how that works. In this example, I've got this email. I'm gonna activate Super Whisper and then I'm gonna copy this text to the clipboard. Okay, reply to this email tell the mystery person that I will be available next Tuesday and I've got plenty of stories to share. It would be great to catch up and have a drink or two. Okay, so now you can see it sort of formatted it as an email. It's taken into consideration the context of the text that I've copied and it's beautifully, beautifully articulated things in a very concise way. And 
you can use this in so many different contexts. I'm just giving you one example. Okay, so I'm on Amazon and I want to sell this keyboard. So I've just found some information about it that I want to use. So I'm gonna activate Super Whisper. Summarize the text into bullet points. Okay, so it's basically summarize the text that I've copied. All I've done is very quickly hit the Super Whisper shortcut. I don't really even need to enter, you know, ChatGPT or Claude anymore. I can just do things on the fly without even really having to think. Okay, so the final mode I wanted to show you was meeting mode, because if you already use an app to record and transcribe your meetings, you no longer need to do that with Super Whisper. You can just do that automatically. So if we have a look, uh, you've got this meeting mode, which I'll click into. If I go into the settings, you've got a bunch of options, including choosing the language model and the voice model. I've chosen Pro because I'm a Pro user, but there are some other ones there and they're all fairly accurate, as you can see. And also I use GPT-5 Mini as my language model because it's, again, really accurate and also really quick. Now you can activate modes based on the apps that are active. So I've chosen Microsoft Teams because I mostly have meetings on there, which means when I've got Teams open, it will automatically choose meeting mode to start recording. And then within here, I can choose options like record from system audio, which is perfect because when you're in a meeting, in a virtual meeting, it's usually the system audio that you want to capture. And you can also identify speakers in the transcription, which is super useful when looking back at your meeting summary. So there's some really nice options in here. It pretty much acts like any other AI meeting recorder. Have a look at the output. It looks pretty much like any other type of output that you would see. You could argue that this feature is enough to justify the subscription cost alone. So there's also a vocabulary section where you can map certain phrases to other certain phrases. So for example, I've changed the word optimize with a Z to optimize with an S, because in the UK, that's how we would spell it. So to test this out, I'm going to activate Super Whisper. Optimize to optimize so that we can optimize. And boom, there we go. So it's doing it in the right way, in the way that I want it to, but you can also have it trigger when I say optimize, it will, instead of writing optimize, it will trigger a URL or, or something else. Whatever you want it to do, it will learn based on how you configure it. So make sure that you spend the time when you're in here to get the best possible results from it. So the free version is pretty generous. You get 15 minutes of recording using all of the pro features and access to all of the smaller AI models. But to really unlock Super Whisper's full potential, you need the pro plan. That's where you get access to the faster AI models, support for over 100 languages and unlimited daily usage. Pricing is reasonable. You can go monthly, annually, or even get a lifetime license. I guess it's another subscription you need to consider, but if you use this every day, it's well worth the price of admission. And the larger AI models, whilst they are accurate, they do take a bit longer to process. So you need to bear that in mind that there's always a balance between speed and accuracy. And if you're using the ultra models, you might notice a slight delay. And it's probably worth saying that you need to spend a bit of time to configure the modes up front to how you want them to structure your words. One feature that I wish it did have was better native integration with apps like Notion or Craft. That would be sick. But all of these platforms seem to be doing their own take on generative AI. Super Whisper is one of those rare tools that actually change your workflow. It's not just a novelty AI tool, it genuinely makes you more productive. But to be honest, there was a bit of a, a shift in terms of the learning curve, not with the app itself, but with my own habits. I've had to completely rewire my brain to default to using the, the keyboard shortcut to activate Super Whisper every time I want to type more than a couple of lines. And it took a few weeks to, to build that muscle memory and that habit. And now I basically don't stop using it. So now you've seen how I save time with not typing. If you want to see how to track and measure where all of your time is actually going without having to do a thing, I'll leave a link to that video at the end of this one. I'll see you there.